ever read the tag on a piece of clothing, you've seen the percent composition of different fibers in the material. The total of those percentages is 100%. In the same way, you can calculate the percentage composition of atoms in a compound. Here are two different compounds with the same atoms in them, potassium, chromium, and oxygen. The percent composition for each of them is different, even though they're made of the same building materials. We can calculate percent composition using this formula. The percent mass of an element equals the mass of the element divided by the mass of the compound times 100. Let's do a sample calculation. 5.1 grams of aluminum oxide is made of 2.7 grams of aluminum and the rest is oxygen. What is the percent composition? Let's start with aluminum. We know that we have 2.7 grams of aluminum and we'll divide by the total which is 5.1 grams. Multiply by 100 and you get 52.9%. Even though the problem doesn't give the exact amount of oxygen, we can find it by using subtraction. Since the rest of the mass is oxygen, we subtract 2.7 from 5.1 and get 2.4 grams. 2.4 divided by 5.1 times 100 equals 47.1% oxygen. You can check your work by seeing if the percentages add up to 100, and they do. You can also find the percent composition from the formula of the compound but you have to assume that you have one mole of the compound. It's just the mass of the element of one mole over the molar mass of the compound times 100. Let's try it. What is the percent composition of oxygen and iron in Fe2O3? Use the periodic table to first find the masses of iron and oxygen so that we can calculate the molar mass. Remember to multiply iron by two and oxygen by three because we have two and three atoms of them respectively. Then you take the mass of the two irons and divide by the total. Multiply by 100 and you get 69.95% iron. Take three times the mass of oxygen, divide by the total, and multiply by 100 to get 30.05% oxygen. You can use percent composition to calculate the number of grams of any element in a specific mass of a compound. Just multiply the mass of the compound by a conversion factor based on its composition. You need to assume the percentage is out of 100 grams. It's easier to see this in action. So if the percent of iron in Fe2O3 is 69.95%, assume that there are 69.95 grams of iron per 100 grams of Fe2O3. Then if you have 45 grams of iron oxide, you can find out how many grams are in the iron. 45 grams times 69.95 grams of iron divided by 100 grams of iron oxide equals 31 grams of iron. Some formulas may look really different, but actually they have the same basic ratio. C2H2 and C8H8 both have a reduced ratio of CH. The most reduced whole number ratio of the atoms of the elements in a compound is the empirical formula. This is different from molecular formula, which may be a multiple of the empirical formula. The molecular formula can be the same as the empirical formula, or it can be a simple whole number multiple of the empirical formula. For example, the molecular formula of glucose is C6H12O6, but that can be simplified to the empirical formula of CH2O. You can calculate the molecular formula from the empirical formula using molar mass. Calculate the molar mass of the empirical formula, then divide the experimentally determined molar mass by the empirical formula mass. The answer is the multiplier for the empirical formula. Let's see this done. The empirical formula is CCLN. The molar mass of the compound is 184.5 grams per mole. What's the molecular formula? First, we calculate the molar mass of CCLN. Then we take the molar mass of the compound and divide by the empirical mass. And the answer is three, which means we have to triple the whole formula, which will give us C3CL3N3. Thanks for watching this episode of Teacher's Pet. Don't forget to like and subscribe and follow me on Twitter at SciencePet.